Hello! I have already recorded this and we are going to record it again because, I mean, uh, yeah. The microphone wasn't working, unfortunately, but this time it will work. So let's record it. Alright, so today, no gaming. I don't want to play Baldur's Gate, I don't want to play Codbane, I don't want to play anything, I don't want to stream anything, so we're doing this instead. What we're going to do is that uh, we are going to talk about my very bad relationship with music. Not the kind of music, uh, I mean, not music in the sense of listening to music. I love listening to music. I have some very specific uh, tastes uh, because I am autistic. I have special interests in music as well. But uh, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about when I was a singer. Because um, when I was a teenager, I've been a singer for a while. Uh, even kind of paid a little bit. Not much, but <laughs> semi-professionally, let's say. I was uh, semi-professional. I was on the way to become a professional. I, I was studying and everything. I was in a school and we are going to talk about that, that school, because it was a nightmare. And it was the reason for which, or at least one of the big reasons for which, I am not in the music industry. And I will probably never be. Even though I can sing, I am pretty good at it, but I am not gonna do it anymore. I'm not gonna go and do lives, I'm not gonna go and go in a band or something. Probably never gonna happen anytime soon. So when I was 14 years old, I started studied, uh, started studying singing, uh, sing, singing, uh, in this school, which was the only school of music that was close to my home because I live in a kind of remote area, kind of. And at the time, it felt even more remote, you know, because when you are a teenager, you can't really move that much by yourself. Um, so yeah. I started studying singing, and I, I studied for quite some time, for a few years. Uh, five, six years, I think, which is not that much, actually, uh, if you know singing. But the important stuff is that the teachers were... the singing teachers were fantastic, they were phenomenal. I learned a lot, and I had a ton of fun with them. But there, was, there were two people in particular who were bullying me constantly. And one was uh, a bus teacher who was also organizing a lot of projects I was taking part of, uh, taking part in, and that were very important projects if you wanted to go and have a career in music, let's say, even a small one. By the way, uh, there was this bus teacher, and he was a real dick. He was a pain in the ass, always uh, insulting me, always bullying me. And he was doing this with all the other males. Only the males, because uh, the girls... Well, he was doing something else to the girls. Let's just say that um, by the time I decided to go away, uh, he was together in a relationship with a 14 years old girl, girl. And he was 40, with two children. So yeah, you can kind of picture the kind of person I had to deal with. And he was constantly bullying me, constantly saying I was doing everything wrong, that I was never gonna do anything, and... You know, the usual stuff, so... Very bad person. The other one uh, was the chief, let's say, of the school. The, I don't know how it's called in English. And the proprietary of the school. And she was always angry at me uh, because, uh, as you may know, I have social anxiety and I didn't understand I had social anxiety when I was uh, a kid, but I had it already. So I used to skip some lessons because of reasons, especially if there were a lot of people involved. And, uh, and she saw that as me being lazy. Because, of course, you, you are an adult, you have to deal with a child, basically, because I was 14 years old. And you see him not coming, and the first thing you do is get enraged, because he is being lazy. Oh. 
and a lot of bullying, obviously, because, uh, yes, you're never gonna do anything, because blah blah blah, you're never gonna do anything, etc, etc, you know, the, the stuff. And I realized at some point that a lot of people in the music uh, department, let's say, are just like that. And they are going to have a lot of power in you. Unless, I don't know, you become someone. You become someone, then they don't have power anymore. But if you are no one like I was, and let's be honest, like I probably would have been my entire life, even if I stayed in that, uh, in the music industry, they have a lot of power. And they are abusive, they are terrible persons, terrible people. So, yeah. That's part of the reason why I, I dropped music, let's say. I, I never sang again. And I want to tell you about this particular episode, uh, which was one that made me laugh. This, uh, leave the school, definitely. Uh, definitely, definitively, or however it's spelled, I don't know. It's sad. I don't know. Bear in mind that I continued being in the music industry by uh, going to a band and continue uh, going live with that band for a few years. But this is a defining moment of my life, let's say. And it was after a live concert. Uh, the bus teacher uh, took me away uh, with all the band member uh, looking and started just dropping insults because I wasn't uh, there during one uh, one time when they were trying the, the stuff, uh, the concert, because I was in a different state with my parents and I was a minor so I, I, I had to be with my parents, I couldn't have been there, but whatever. It wasn't uh, the, the good sense, the common sense is just wasted on people like that. So he started dropping insult and menacing me of um, violence, of hitting me, and saying things like, ah, you're lucky you're a minor, otherwise you would be on the ground, which was very funny because later I realized that he probably wouldn't have been able to do that. But that's a different story. The point is, he really dropped this on me out of nowhere. And in front of everyone to humiliate me. And it really felt humiliating. I feel I felt very humiliated by this. And at the end of the day, I realize now, it was a 40 years old taking out on a... 16 years old, with no power whatsoever, and yeah, very abusive behavior, and I don't want to have to deal with people like that, so I didn't want to have to deal with people like that, so I dropped the school, and here we are. So instead of doing music and stuff like that, I am on YouTube now, yay! And I'm doing this kind of videos, which I hope you appreciated. And I know a lot of people can find themselves in these stories because, uh, I mean, every one of us had to deal with abusive people uh, and they reacted differently. I was uh, an autistic boy that didn't know he was autistic in a really weird situation, social anxiety and blah blah blah. So I reacted by not reacting, basically. By keeping everything inside of me. So I'm taking it out now uh, to you. So yeah, I feel a little bit better now that I talked about it. And I hope that some of you uh, might, you know, I, I hope no one will feel the same way that I felt, but I know some of you do, and I feel like maybe if you listen to this story, you would feel a little bit less alone, and a little bit more understood. So yeah, if things like this happen to you in your life, you've been abused by some stupid uh, 40 years old or something that 
can recognize his face from his ass or something like that. That had a lot of power in your life as well. You're not alone. Bye.